Hello everyone, Rochelle here and I'm back to share some yarn goodness with you all again. So let's get started. I have some finished projects to share with you all. I do have a work in progress. Um, I've got some updates on some upcoming things coming with uh, Queen's Yarn Boutique, which is my hand dyed yarn shop and business. So, oh, also I have some fabric to share with you all. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. All right, so let's start with the finished projects. And this one, I am just, I just love it. So here it is. Look at that. So this is an owl that I've been working on. It's um, what it is, it's a car seat or it goes on the back of a car, a back of a car seat. And a friend of mine, she has recently had a baby and uh, she wanted this for him so he can have something to play with and put his toys in. Um, I'm still undecided. I think I'm gonna put like some little decorations here just to just to make it fun, but I haven't quite decided what I want to put there yet. Um, but I really, I really love it. Look at those eyes. It's got a little bow tie and it's wings. And then, can you see the feet? Those are the little feet. And then it has these ties on it to strap to the back of the car chair, car seat. And so then you have little ears. So yeah, this is wonderful. Um, <laughs> it took me forever to make this. This is a lot of crochet work, um, a lot of single crochets. And um, I had started making this and I just didn't like the way it looked so I started over again and thank goodness my friend is patient because I should have had this done like forever ago but I haven't. So here it is and like I said I may add a little bit to it later but we'll see. Alright so my next finished project is a knitted project and it is a dishcloth. The colors in my kitchen um, are, <clears throat> excuse me, the colors in my kitchen, they are red and white. And so I decided to make this dishcloth. And I will put the name of the yarn around here. And I will say that it is a Hobby Lobby brand yarn. A Hobby Lobby cotton yarn and also just going back to my owl I used Hobby Lobby's I love this cotton for the um, to make this except for the eyes I use red heart with love but everything else is um, Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn. And I do believe the bow tie is Red Heart as well. And it was a great scrap project to use. Just use up some scraps that I had. But yeah, so this is a knitted washcloth. It's a very simple pattern by Very Pink Knits. And uh, I did not use Hobby Lobby, I love this cotton for this. It's a different brand that they carry in Hobby Lobby. Because I find that sometimes with um, the I Love This Cotton, it stretches a, a lot, um, which is fine, especially if you're using it for clothing. But for a dishcloth, I kind of don't want it to like get too out of shape. So I use this brand that they had in there. All right, moving along. So those were my finished projects. All right. And now for my work in progress. This is a project that I've had in my Ravelry queue forever. But it is the 
Be Simple Variations Shawl. It's a knitted shawl. And they have two. They have the regular Be Simple and then they have the Be Simple Variations, which has like uh, more like lacy work in it, more holes in it. So um, this is what I've done so far. I really like this yarn. This is also a yarn that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And what I like about this yarn is it is a low pill acrylic yarn. That's what kind of drew me to this yarn. And I've had this yarn forever. Let me let you see the colors up close. I've had this yarn forever. And I was kind of getting to the point of if I've had a if I've had yarn for one or two years or if not more either I'm going to get rid of it or donate it or use it and um, I have donated a lot of yarn I have gotten rid of a lot of yarn I've you know sold a little bit of it and I've just been really trying to get rid of yarn if I'm not using it if it's been sitting on my shelf for years um, I'm trying my best not to be a yarn hoarder but that is incredibly difficult so I'm trying not to become a yarn hoarder um, but this is yarn that I've had in my stash for several years and um, I will put the name of the yarn and all of its information around here and uh, just to let you know but it is a worsted weight yarn and I am using my childhood needles and they are a size 8 which is a 5.0 millimeter um, knitting needle and I'm using this for my interchangeable set of childhood needles so I'm loving that I still haven't made a hat yet with my interchangeable needles, which is kind of the purpose of me buying the set, but oh well. And um, also, I want to let you know if you all hear something in the background, it just started raining. Um, and also, I'm still in my old office space, so it may sound a little echoey because it's pretty much an empty room. Um, we've moved a little bit of stuff in here. But in my new office, I am waiting to get some, some different lighting because I'm really particular about how I want my lighting to look um, in my videos. And so I'm going to switch out the lighting in my old office, in my new office. And my new office is, our, is the room that used to be our dining room. But uh, we don't have a lot of formal dining, you know, parties and stuff like that. So, you know we feel like that room would be better used as an office and yeah so that's awesome and it was actually my husband's idea so i think anytime your husband says that you can have a bigger yarn room you just kind of jump on it um as soon as he says it so so that's where i am now but i'm still recording in my old office because the lighting in here is much much better and so there it is i absolutely love the colors in this it's just beautiful and this yarn has like a plumpness to it I don't know it's it feels great it's different from any acrylic yarn that I've ever used it's really really squishy all right so those are all of my um, works in progress I have to kind of admit that um I've I kind of lost my my crojo a little bit my my knitting and crochet mojo I just haven't been in the mood to knit or crochet and I don't know where that comes from I mean I don't know if it's because I've been dying so much yarn lately or what it is I just have not had my knitting and crochet um, mojo going on but I'm trying to get back into it um, working on this be simple variation shawl has definitely been helping um, I do have some ideas for some crochet summer tops that I would like to make so hopefully I'll be able to to get my mojo back going and and you know knit and crochet because I have the time to do it it's just I don't know sometimes I'm just like not in the mood and um but I guess I guess we all get like that sometimes but I think it's it's bouncing back 
But what I have been doing, I haven't lost all of my crafting mojo. I have been very busy sewing. Um, I've been making project bags for the upcoming festival that I have. And so I've been working with that. And also I have been buying some fabric just to show you all. I bought this fabric and I bought this from the Broken Needle, which is a local yarn shop. It's about 30 minutes away, but we don't have a whole lot of yarn shops around here. So that to me would be considered local. But um, yeah, it's called the Broken Needle. It's a store in Dunn, North Carolina. And this fabric is by Tula Pink. I had never heard of Tula Pink before, but she's amazing. The, the fabric is absolutely amazing. So I bought that and I have been looking for some African print yarn and my battery light is flashing. So yeah, I better make this quick, right? But I have some yarn here. I bought it at the Bernina World of Sewing. Me and my friends, we just went and hung out one day and we hit up all the fabric stores and all the knitting shops. But I have been looking for some African print, African inspired yarn, uh, fabric. And a friend of mine knew some places that had Aborigine um, fabric. And so this was one of them. Let's see if that'll show up. It's really pretty. And I only bought a half a yard um, just because I wanted to try it out. This is a rather expensive type of yarn. I do believe it's like $12 a yard. Yeah, so I just got a uh, half a yard, but it's really pretty. And this is the um, Aborigine print yarn fabric. My goodness, I keep saying yarn. <laughs> that yarn on the brain, y'all. So those are all of my projects that I have going on um, for as is knitting and crocheting and sewing. I do want to update you all on some upcoming events that's coming along with Queen's Yarn Boutique. Um, I had the pleasure of vending at the Power Tan Festival of Fiber. Yeah, Power Tan Festival of Fiber in Power Tan, Virginia. It was amazing. It was April 28th. Um, thank you to all of those who came by my booth. Um, it was wonderful. I got to meet some viewers, which was awesome. And so just thank you all so much for coming out. And the next event that I have is the Blue Ridge Fiber Fest. And it is going to be in Sparta, North Carolina, uh, June 2nd and 3rd. Uh, so if you're looking for a trip to the mountains, that's definitely something to look out for. I'll be vending there for both days. And I am just so excited to be going to the mountains. I love, love, love the mountains. So yay, I have that coming up. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I also wanted to remind you all that I do have a newsletter. So um, one has already gone out and I should be coming out with another one soon. I'm hoping to be able to get the newsletter on like a regular schedule, but we'll see. I've been super busy lately. Um, but yeah, so if you are interested in receiving the Queen's Yarn Boutique newsletter, go to my website at queensyarnboutique.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom and sign up for the newsletter. So yay. All right. Um, oh yeah one more thing i was going to say is my shop is going to be uh, closing soon just because i have the blue ridge festival coming up and then after that i have an event uh, coming up that following weekend um and i'll let you all know about that a little bit later so um i will also let you all know on instagram when i'm going to be closing the shop because i'll be doing fiber fest and so yeah i'll let you all know about that so you know look out for instagram 
All right, so the last thing that I want to share with you all is I have some new colorways. Now, um, these colorways I have dyed for the festivals that are coming up. Um, I do have them in the shop, but like I said, the shop's not going to be open for too much longer. So, you know, um, we'll see. And um, let me go ahead and show you all these colorways. All right. Oh, and before I show these, these colorways, if you can't get them before I close the shop um, for the festivals, they will be available after the festival. So you will get an opportunity to get these again, but it'll probably be like maybe the second week in June, second, third week in June, maybe. All right, so let's get started. The first colorway I'm going to show you all is called Vibranium. And of course, this is inspired from the Black Panther movie. It's got black and purple and red and blue. And I decided to call this vibranium because um, it's got red and blue in it. And, you know, Captain America's shield is made out of vibranium. And then, of course, it has purple and black in it because... Black Panther has vibranium in, um, well, in all of Wakanda, uh, there's purple vibranium. So that's where this is inspired from. And just to continue with uh, the geek talk, <laughs> this one is called Hela of Asgard. Um, she is a character in the Thor Ragnarok movie. And I also have Nakia of the River Tribe. If you remember, Nakia was in the Black Panther movie. And this was inspired by her and her tribe. I also have T'Challa. It's got black and gray and purple. I also have Flower Garden. And I have Purple Raindrops. I love this one. I have Black Peacock. And lastly, I have Sweetheart. And I have another new colorway as well, and I just realized I forgot it, so I'll be right back. So the last colorway I wanted to share with you all is called Lemon Crush. I absolutely love this one. So squishy. And of course, I still have my five bases. I have narrowed down my bases to five. Um, Pop Life Fingering, which is 100% Merino. I have Round and Round BFL Sock. Um, I have Diamonds and Pearls MCN Sock. Vanity DK, which is an MCN. And then I have Manic Monday BFL. Um, I do have a few minis as well, the reflection minis, but for the most part, I have just narrowed down my bases to those five or six. All right, so I'm looking at my notes. It looks like I've covered everything. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, it means a lot. I'm getting close to 3,000 subscribers, which is crazy awesome. And so thank you all so much for your support. And until the next video... Bye.